Okay, so now we're going to start off with a really easy example and then we're going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, so we've got a foci, our two foci, our two fixed points. So there's a focus, there's a focus, together they are foci. And we're going to say that the location of the two of them are at 3 comma 0 and negative 3 comma 0. And halfway between those is going to be the center. So the center is going to be halfway between those two points, which is 0, 0, making it easy. And then the sum of the distances is 10. Okay, so I've got a foci here of... So here's 0, 0. And I go 1, 2, 3. So there's 3, 0. And I go 1, 2, 3, so there's negative 3, 0. So there's my two foci. And now I want to know that the sum of the distances is 10. Well, let's suppose, let's look somewhere along the semi, let's look somewhere around along the major axis. So some point out here, right? Well, how far well, this distance here, let's just uh, say that distance is x, and that distance is 6. And so if I go here, this is 6 plus x, and this is x. So 6 plus x plus another x is equal to 10. So then I've got um, 6 plus 2x is equal to 10. And you can just sort of look at that and you're going to get that x is equal to 2. Okay, so I missed it a little bit. It means that if I go here, 1, 2, there's a vertex right there at 5 comma 0 and then I'm going to get another vertex here at negative 5 comma 0 because there that's 1 2 go 2 to that focus and then I gotta go 8 to that focus so I get a total distance of 10 well so now I'm, I've got that my, where do I want to put it? That's probably going to be in the way later for my, calcul for my drawing, but that's fine. So I'm going to say down here, I'm going to say that my A, which is the semi-major axis, is going to be 5, and that my, um, my C is going to be the distance, the focal length, which is going to be 3, and then I've got uh, a squared minus b squared equals c squared, which I could also write as a squared minus c squared is equal to b squared. So I've got 10 squared, oh, sorry, that's my a is 5. So I got 5 squared minus 3 squared is equal to b squared. And that's going to give me, basically, you can, you can figure it out on your own. That's going to give me b is equal to 4 because I totally cooked the numbers to make it work that way. And you guys can figure that out on your own time. Okay, so then I've got 1, one 2, 3, 4. i got a point there, 0, 4. And a point here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a point there is 0, negative 4. And this is where, like, I totally tell everybody that you don't start with the points. You start drawing the ellipse first. So you start drawing the ellipse, and then you just put, then you plug in your points. Because you're just going to get a potato. But here I'm going to just work on doing the best that I can to make something that's not quite a potato.
these are better at these these swoopies what came in a little bit like that <coughs> and there's your potato okay <coughs> and so you've got a semi-major axis B is equal to 4. You got a semi-major, semi-minor axis B equals to 4. Semi-major axis is equal to 5. And your focal length is equal to 3. And so then the equation for this is going to be x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do two things. We're going to shift it and we're going to have it, uh, we're, going to sh we're going to shift it and we're just going to flip x and y. Okay, so one more fairly simple.